Hello fellow collectors. Welcome to another episode of Studio 64. If you're new to the channel, we basically showcase 164 scale and similar scale diecasts for both current and past models. In this episode, we shall unbox and showcase a new casting from Tarmac Works under their Global 64 line. The Pagani Zonda R. The real Zonda R debuted back in 2009. There were only 15 Zonda R's made by Pagani from 2009 to 2011 and is classified as a track day car. It is an extremely rare and highly sought after car for those who can afford of course. This copy of mine comes in this blister pack. It has an included box with a Tarmac Works signature container van artwork. The more premium version, the Zonda Revolution, comes with a container van hard case. At the back of this blister pack we see some literature and the Pagani official license product marking. So, what do you say, let's get this casting loose. By the way, this Zonda R version also came out with a Chase version. Difference being the rim of the Chase version is finished black or black chrome. This blister pack is resealable by the way. And here it is. Right out the pack I like the feel to the touch of this casting. Particularly the paint finish. The matte black is smooth and even. I even think I prefer this matte finish than a glossy finish. This casting feels very premium. There is some weight to it. The scale is definitely spot on and looks well put together. A closer look, I can see that this casting has a nice stance. Ground clearance is perfect. The wheelbase seems spot on. And the wheels are well proportioned. Speaking of wheels, the wheels roll smoothly on this one. Tires are made of rubber with a Pirelli P0 brand on the side wall. The rear copper finished rim has some depth on the outer lip. Moving along the side profile, notable design features are the engine air intakes, the Zonda R and Horatio Pagani signature tampos, the clean and sharp side spoiler, and the window opening. The side mirrors are made of rubber with a reflective insert. Moving to the front end, we see the lines are strong and sharp, which gives this Zonda R's aggressive look. Particularly on the front spoiler. There's not much detail though. The headlights are painted silver. As we move to the bonnet area, what really catches your attention is the windshield. It's clean and clear which gives us excellent visibility of the interior. Though it might not be so now because of the light reflection. Clear, sharp, and well-applied tampos here on top. I especially like the ellipse tampo which runs from the front to the rear. I believe it represents Pagani's ellipse logo. The Pagani logo on the windshield is also a nice touch. Another feature of this car that this casting has executed quite well, is the roof air intake. You get to really appreciate this feature from the side and at a distance. The rear end shows more detail than the front. We have here painted on tail lights, as well as the Zondar logo. The engine exhaust is painted silver gray. Rear wing is sharp and straight, accentuated by the Pagani logo. It's also made of plastic, so a bit fragile. The base is made of metal, secured by two screws. Not much detail though, apart from the Tarmac Works logo, but the rear spoiler diffuser is nicely tooled. It's well defined and straight. As for the interior, only way we can see it is through this wide windscreen. The dashboard and two gauges are accentuated with silver trims. Racing bucket seats are painted red, and steering wheel is well defined. And just for comparison, here is an LCD Pagani wire up beside the Zonda R. And there you have it. The Pagani Zonda R, by Tarmac Works Global 64 line. I have to say, this casting turned out better than I expected. I read online that this casting is newly tooled. Good job Tarmac Works. The matte finish is excellent, the stance is perfect. 
Tampos are well placed, and it rolls so nice. Details are subtle but very clean. It's one of those castings that you appreciate long term. I would highly recommend you guys to cop this one. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do consider subscribing to this channel. Till next time.